My name's Sandra Haynes. Um, I'm, I live in London, in Edmonton. I used to sing in a group, in a, in a reggae group, um, a large band, and I used to smoke cigarettes 40 a day. I would drink and um, do all the usual things that you would do, you know, as a, a teenager growing up. And I'd gotten myself a, a mortgage, um, I was singing, things were going well, I was working, then all of a sudden it just all crashed. I wasn't in a good place at all. And um, then, then I started getting these suicide thoughts because, you know, it, it was like, what's the point living this the way I'm living? And it was, it just wasn't, it wasn't good. I was homeless. Um, I had to go through the council to um, to get myself somewhere to a place to live and then I ended up in Holborn um, in a homeless shelter. I was walking in Inwood Green and a lady stopped me in the street. She gave me the Bible to go home with. So I opened the book for the first time and I saw it was written in plain English and I thought to myself, wow, because I'd been struggling to understand the Word of God and I'd been going to all types of different churches trying to understand um, what it's all about. That's what led me to when I, um, I was watching the, um, the TV and came across God TV. I was, um, I was at home. I was uh, just flicking through the channels, looking at um, what, what I had on my telly, and it stopped on, on Creflo Dollar, which I didn't know it was him at the time or anything about him. And I just um, kept watching the, um, this program and I thought it's because it sounded interested, interesting and um, things that he was saying just made everything, all my little bits that I picked up along the way, um, put, put some kind of um, clarity in my head about what's going on and, and how the devil's been on my back and you know stopping me from getting places and doing things in my life and and that he almost took me out with these when I was thinking so you know so dark and it was just like an explosion of you know it was joy and I he was taught he, he um, let, led people to be born again and I just gave my life there and then on the floor I just I dropped to the floor and I was in you know praising God and you know, it was like hallelujah. I've got something to go with me. I've got a, I've got a life to live to, to live now, and um, and that was that was it. Yeah, that was it was amazing for me. I kept the TV on constantly. I couldn't get enough. It wasn't just Creflo. After I was watching the next program, Joyce Meyer. It was um, Kenneth Copeland. It was Joseph Prince. Uh, Bill Winston, it was one after the other. It's precious in my life, it really is. And it's led me to um, to go to church, to get myself put into a right church, um, which, I, which I did. I went to the, an apostolic and got myself baptised. I give to God TV, it's the teachings. When you give God's way, He gives you back in other ways that you need. The little that I have, I give out of the benefits that I'm receiving. I do give the tithe, basically. It has been hard, um, but I see it coming back to me when I've needed it. I'm a confident person now, um, because timidity, shyness, was just making me fall downwards. I, I'm in, con I say, uh, in control of um, who I am, where I go. I don't take what anybody else says. I go by what the word says, and that's what gets me where I'm going.